They said what? They said what? Hey, today uh, for a change, not with my coffee mug, but with my fitness water drink. And the reason I'm sitting here today, I wanted to talk to you. Now, just in case you don't know who I am, I have this little intro. It only takes two seconds and I'm just going to play it. So that will introduce me, basically. It is my life. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, I really wanted to address some comments that were made on my last video. It kind of upset me. So I thought today I'd address it. Now, if you don't know what, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this. Well, well, not Daniel Craig, of course, but more like this. me recreating Daniel Craig's moment in uh, Casino, I think it was 007. Um, I thought it was a nice homage to Mr. Craig or, you know, James Bond, but people took offense to it, I think. So um, I wanted to, you know, address that in this video. I just found out basically that Daniel Craig is exactly the same age as me. We were born in the same year and he has his birthday, I think a couple of weeks ago, and I'm having my birthday in a couple of weeks. So I thought that was like a fun thing to do, but the internet is the internet and, um, or YouTube is YouTube. Um, I thought this was a safe space. I thought like, you know, on Instagram, everybody's nice and all that stuff, but uh, not on YouTube. There were some comments that I want to address in this video. Now, in this, in my last video, which actually was more than 20 minutes long, there is the scene, it's like 15 seconds, it's not even 15 seconds in which I do show my body in the sea, wearing Speedos. The amount of abuse that I got because of that is kind of like amazing, really. I wasn't even thinking anything of it. I was just being myself as part of a storyline. Most of the people who complained or used language like, oh, cringeworthy, and it made me puke. I mean, honestly, these words were used. Many of these people probably didn't even look at the rest of the video. They just puked straight away and clicked away or wrote their little nasty comment and then walked away. Now, if you had stayed, you would have noticed that this was actually a long video about the stress that I've been experiencing doing my van life tour. And for once, it was like a backstory. I start off with something happening or something happy happening in my life. I finally found warm a warm beach with warm water and I could have a swim and then and then I show you what the week leading up to this moment in the sea was actually like with all the stress uh, attached to it so that was the storyline and like I said I thought it was like an off-the-cuff off moment I thought it was funny but uh, some of you didn't. And it wasn't like, okay, so I put myself out there on YouTube. I understand that, you know, that people feel the need or people feel that they can criticize everything you do. And, you know, I all up for that. But it was just the way that they criticized it that uh, annoyed me the most. It was the wording that they used. And when you sort of try to pick up on them, because I, I try to screen grab the comments, but if you try to pick up on them, they first, you know, defend themselves. Oh, I was just giving you feedback. And I think, well, well, that's not feedback, you know, telling me that you want to vomit when you see me. That's not feedback at all. And then they delete their um, comments or they disappear altogether from YouTube, really. Just shows you what, what cowards they really are. Now, again, like I said, I put myself out there, so I need to take into account that people will be, you know, 
you know, voicing their opinion. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the harshness of the comments that, you know, struck me as uh, unnecessary. Now, as you know, in a previous life, I used to be a teacher and I always tried to make sure that my pupils felt secure and safe in, in, at school. And, you know, there's a lot of bullying and mobbing going on at school. And uh, I am really firm believer that we should stamp that out. The weird thing is that if I looked at, you know, if I clicked on the YouTube profiles of the people sending the comments, they were not young people. They were people my age. So that really begs the question. It's like, my God, this is like even people that are at a similar age that choose those kind of words or that kind of language. Really baffling, to be quite honest. Like I said, they were like... They were ageist as well, sexist remarks. No, just just mean-spirited, to be quite honest. And I think I, I expressed it in one of my first videos, really. I'm 55. Is it too late to start a, a YouTube channel or to start van life? And there was so much encouragement. A lot of people then said or wrote in the comment section that age is just a number. It is just but a number. So I'm going to consider this as well. Age is just a number and I'm trying to live a healthy lifestyle. I do work out, I eat healthily or try to eat healthily, drink plenty of fluids and all that stuff. So I'm kind of proud of uh, the way I look at uh, 55 soon to be 56 to be quite honest so you know i have nothing to be ashamed for but it was just the way that people um were, were using the comment section that that annoyed me the most and let's be honest um you know my viewership is of an older age and we should celebrate age and you know fitness and starting trying to stay young and fit and healthy i think we should celebrate that and lots of people are doing that. So, um, you know, shout out to all you out there who, who try to lead a healthy and a sporty lifestyle. Now, I'd like to end on a positive note because, of course, there were more positive comments than there were negative comments. So I thank you very much for the positive comments as well because I think you do... Um, the people that are following me are the people who just, you know, are, are rooting me on, on my, my little journey here, which is sometimes full of problems, but that is part of part and the parcel of life. I think somebody just pointed that out as well in a comment saying like, you know, shit happens and then you move on. And I think that was basically what that video, 21 minutes long, you know, and they picked on that 15 seconds. But those 21 minutes, that was what it was all about. You know, hey, life happens, shit happens. And then we move on to the next stage, which I am. So I am already working on my new Sunday movie. But um, I thought on a Wednesday um, to just, uh, you know, interject with this little short commentary of mine. And it's those positive comments that you wrote that really make me... Um, you know, go on with my journey and documenting it on YouTube. So thank you again. I won't be deterred by these negative comments. I just block them. And, you know, I'm sometimes trying to kill them with kindness. And I just write back, sort of like being really polite and very, very friendly. Just, you know, emphasizing that the language that they use is maybe not appropriate. So let's be positive. It's Wednesday, the sun is shining, as you can see. It's a beautiful day. Um, I'm um, on tour still in my van. If you want to leave me a comment, a positive one, then please feel free. Or maybe you have experience of some nasty YouTube comments. So, you know, write them in the comment section. <laughs> I would love to hear what you have maybe gone through on YouTube comment sections. So let's concentrate on lifting each other up you know, not just the weights at the gym, but lifting each other up. And I hope to see you on Sunday for a new video of my travels, because I'm still on the move. Looking forward to it. See you then. Take care for now. And thanks for listening.